Hello and welcome to the first episode of what I hope will become a running series of videos covering the Boink network infrastructure and projects. Today we're going to jump right in and sign up for our first project, which will be Rosetta at Home. Rosetta at Home is a project using Boink to run protein simulations in an attempt to find ways to combat the novel coronavirus, among other things. Uh, but before we get into that, since this is the first episode, I'm going to describe Boink very briefly. BOINC stands for the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing. It was developed in 2002 out of Berkeley and the SETI at Home project. Many people might remember SETI at Home as that really cool looking distributed computing project with a screensaver that helped you look for aliens. Uh, SETI standing for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. BOINC at its core enables researchers, scientists, enthusiasts, and anyone with data from around the world uh, to host that data, have it distributed to uh, people from around the world who will then run calculations with the data, essentially analyze it, and send the results back to the researchers, scientists, or enthusiasts uh, who can then use the results in any way they see fit. Uh, Boink is permissionless and open source software hosted on GitHub. Anyone can contribute in any way they want uh, through code or outreach or what have you. Uh, and I think that's about it. It hosts 30 some odd projects, which we'll go over really briefly here as we jump into it and I get this protein out of the way. This is what we're talking about today by, look at this, by the way, look at this protein do some work. Isn't that adorable? All right, so here's the GitHub for Boink, GitHub slash Boink, Boink. Uh, feel free to jump in, uh, see some issues and help out where you can. And as I was saying, Boink hosts a whole bunch of projects from around the world. Some major ones coming out of Prague, Tech, uh, you've got Oxford doing climate prediction. It's 30 some odd projects. CERN, IBM hosts a project, uh, Purdue, all of these uh, great institutions along with just independent people who, uh, like these people are searching for prime numbers, very large prime numbers, uh, and they're just people who set up a blank project because again, permissionless and open source is really neat. Um, yeah, so without going too much into it, there's a whole bunch of data on this screen uh, about what platforms you can run uh, a project on and about what type of science the project is working on. And it is every field of science <laughs> you can dream of is, uh, is covered by Boink. So we'll just dive in. If you want more information, check out boink.network. This is a podcast that I run with another community member uh, that just discusses Boink and Boink projects. Uh, we're doing a running series on SETI at home as they are stopping work unit distribution at the end of March here, but there's a whole bunch of topics that we talk about. Um, Valentine's Day, that was a fun one. Uh, <laughs> you can follow us at Boink Network on Twitter uh, or find a way to reach out to us any other way. Oh, like the Discord, feel free to jump on. Here's an invite code and come say hi if you're having trouble. Uh, problems with the software. Uh, there are uh, developers and uh, enthusiasts and people who know a lot in that server who will be more than happy to help you out. Or if you just want to come talk about some cool science stuff, uh, feel free. So now we're going to jump into Rosetta at home before we get the actual work done. Here is what they are. Follow them at Rosetta at home on Twitter. Uh, they're run with the, they're partnered with the Institute for Protein Design, which is coming out of the University of Washington. Uh, check them out. There's the link. Uh, also, they have a Twitter at UW Protein Design, uh, and they also are sort of connected to the Fold It game, which is uh, running protein simulations, but with your brain power instead of your computation power. Uh, and here is a TED Talk uh, by David Baker, who is the head of the project, uh, talking about proteins and what they're doing over there at the Institute. It's a pretty interesting talk. I would recommend listening to it. All right, so Boink at its core, giant supercomputer. It's the, I think, number three or fourth supercomputer in the world when you compare it to other computers by flops. Uh, and Rosetta at home is using this processing power to do protein simulations uh, in an attempt currently to uh, combat the coronavirus. They also, when the coronavirus wasn't here, these guys have been running for a very long time, so they were working on other problems too. There are several other 
uh, projects on the Boink infrastructure that also do protein folding. Rosetta at Home is currently the only one doing uh, COVID work. So this is what we're going to sign up for and let's get going. So the first thing you're going to do to sign up for a Boink project is find the projects you want to sign up for, right? You go to this this website, boink.berkeley.edu slash projects. Maybe you jump in the Discord, ask people what, uh, what you should crunch. And, you know, just find your way around, get to know the stuff uh, and choose one. So we're choosing Rosetta at Home. Click that. It's going to bring you to the website. Um, and then you're here. You're going to click Join Rosetta at Home. You're going to read their rules and policies. Very brief, very easy read. Uh, after that, you go ahead and download Boink. So you don't need to download a virtual box for Rosetta at Home. Uh, you just download Boink regular. There we go. It's a pretty straightforward installation. I don't know why that popped up, but we keep going. Accept <laughs> uh, the terms. You probably want to read the terms first. Launch the Boink Manager, and this is the Boink Manager. You can use this to manage any Boink project you sign up for because you can crunch multiple projects at the same time. There's a lot of settings you can tweak in the manager that will prioritize different projects when they have work over other projects. Uh, you can set a certain amount of percentage of your CPU to go for uh, one project or another. You can do a lot of really cool stuff once you get in the nitty gritty of the manager. Uh, but we're just going to do the basics here. So again, here are all the projects you can choose, little descriptions. Uh, we're going to run down to Rosetta at home. Uh, I would really recommend even if you're just here for the COVID work, read the descriptions of these other projects. Some of it's really cool. Uh, Einstein at Home is doing gravitational wave work with LIGO. Um, DHEP was doing really cool work. They don't exist anymore, but there's a lot of really cool projects here. Um, but I won't get too sidetracked. Let's go to Reset at Home. So you choose the project you want to do uh, and click Next. Uh, and next, uh, once it communicates, we are going to sign up for uh, the project. So you put in your email address. Feel free to email us at boink.network at gmail.com. Uh, make a password. Uh, there you go. And this is going to make an account on the Rosetta at home uh, servers. So you're going to have to do this for every project you sign up for. Uh, there you go. Click next project added and that my friends oh we're not there yet all right so you sign up for uh, the website so we're gonna be boink.network for this one uh, and with this uh, you can choose a team you want to sign up for here's the reddit team and where a lot of people are coming from right now so we'll go ahead and sign up uh, with them so you just search for the team this one is r slash covid you can make teams with uh, your friends, with your schools, with your companies. There are national teams. Uh, there are teams all over the place. They run competitions with each other uh, and just compete for scores. Because a big part of Boink uh, is this thing called gamification that they've developed over the years where you can earn credits, as they call them, earn points, essentially, for crunching, for um, doing computation work. Uh, and then you can compete with each other. It's really cool. And some interesting groups are starting to use those scores to do some even more interesting things that are well out of the scope of this video. So we're just going to join this team. Uh, there's the Reddit, so we know it's the right one. Um, if you want to know more about the gamification aspect, by the way, feel free to go to boink.network and find that FAQ and gamification episode, episode four. This is also hosted on like Spotify and all the, the podcast platforms, by the way. So find that and we talk all about gamification, how cool it is and how it's a, we talk about it at a concept level and sort of how Boink uses it. So there we go, we're all set up. You can change your computing preferences, your, your preferences for this project. There's a lot of stuff we can tweak around and we'll get into some of the, that more nitty gritty stuff. Uh, in some future videos, perhaps. But for now, here we go. We're set up. So let's load Boink and see what's happening. All right. So we're connecting to the servers. Uh, we're downloading work units from the servers. Uh, 
not sure why it's going slow right now, but if you go to the projects tab, you can see what projects you're working on. Uh, right now I'm sending all of my resources to Rosetta at home. Uh, well, this is unfortunate timing. <laughs> I'm going to click update here, which pings the servers of the project to try and get uh, new work. But it was working yesterday when I did a different tutorial for a different group. So there we go. Nope. We just got new work. It's still downloading. So maybe it's my internet going a little slow right now. It did connect though. So you'll get these, they'll start crunching, they'll start running, these percentages will go up, you'll get time elapsed, the time remaining will go down, uh, and you can tweak with settings from here. I will show you some very, there we go, uh, basic settings that you might want to tweak uh, right when you get going before you dive in. So this all comes down to, oh, by the way, I just went to options and computing preferences. Uh, all comes down to how you want to, set up your computer to run with Boink. So if you're going to be using your computer and you want Boink running at the same time you're using the computer, you're going to want to make sure that this is unticked, which is default. Uh, but you're probably not going to want all of your CPUs running at full blast all the time, so you can still do stuff with your computer. So I've got a good number of cores on this machine. So if I bring this down to 92%, uh, you divide your cores into your um, into the percentage to find out what you got to do there. And uh, that will shut off a couple of my cores, so they'll be reserved. And then I'll bring the CPU down instead of 100%. Maybe I'll do 90. Let's do 90%. I really want to crunch this project. So click Save. Uh, yes. Because you can also play with those settings on this page over here, on the project page. Uh, but I like to use the manager. There we go. Yeah, it's just my internet going slow right now. Uh, so this will set up and it will save some cores and it won't run my CPUs uh, at full power all the time. Now, if you want to set this up so it basically only runs when you're not using the computer, go ahead and tick that. Suspend when computer's not in use. Uh, in use means the mouse or keyboard has given an input to the computer in the last three minutes. You can play with this. You can suspend it. Say you want to be using your computer, but you're basically just browsing, so you don't need that much work or that much CPU. So play with this one. Get that to where you want it. These settings, I would recommend leaving at default until you really get into it a little more. Uh, and that is about it uh, to start up. You can do schedules. So if you want it to run only at night, this is pretty cool. Set up a schedule. Go for it. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Wednesdays, I'm, I'm rendering videos. I don't know. Set up what you got to set up. You can set it up to run only when you're asleep. Uh, if you want to get your kids off the computer, set it up right when they get home from school so that they can't play games because it will start lagging for them. Uh, <laughs> that's a, a backhanded way to get them off the computer. Uh, there we go, because I have the setting, and now I'm not using it, and it's running again. Um, pretty, pretty neat. Uh, that's about it. So in the future, we will go over some more stuff, more settings. We'll set up another project. We'll maybe work with the prioritization of the projects. Uh, before I go, I will just uh, show that once you sign up for a Blink project, you can go ahead and go to uh, their message boards. There's forums. You can post wherever you want. Um, I personally am a fan of the live chat, so I always, I'm always in Discord, just hanging out. Uh, other than that, I would say just get going, get crunching. Rosetta at home does CPU work. If you want to put your video cards to work doing protein folding, I would recommend the project's GPU grid or World Community Grid. Neither of them are working on uh, COVID work right now, but uh, World Community Grid uses your GPUs to do. I'm pretty sure it actually. Let me double check that. Uh, this is why this site is perfect. World Community Grid does not use GPUs. So GPU Grid <laughs> does uh, protein folding. I'm not entirely sure what they're using uh, your GPUs for, but you can do that. Or you can check out the uh, other distributed computing platform called Folding at Home. They're using GPUs to do COVID work as well. So you can set up both Boink and Folding at Home. Boink can use your CPU while uh, Folding at Home is using your GPU, and you can get the, the most out of your computer when you're not using it. So thank you for listening. Uh, come back when we got another video. Let me know if you want me to cover anything in particular, and I will do my best to get it covered in a future video.
um, happy crunching everyone.